I'm so glad uh, you were able to come tonight. Um, uh, let me say that this day has been absolutely astonishing for everybody. I mean, we've been preparing for about three months for this for this for this day. Um, and it, we we never expected the kind of reaction that we we got. I mean, right now our campaign is up um, basically what do we say twenty seven thousand dollars. Yeah. So given that, what do we do? And um, the strategy of Liberty Me is let's find ways to outrun them, to outsmart them, to innovate, to do spectacular things uh, that bamboozle and befuddle and uh, 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 astound and confound uh, the power elites. So that's, that's the idea behind Liberty Me. It's a full-blown community. Uh, we're throwing everything at this, every possible tool. Uh, so we've got social network, we've got publishing platforms, we've got, uh, we've got live uh, conversations, um, ongoing archived uh, engagement between people and the most beautiful platform we can possibly come up with. Stefan's on. So uh, let me just make a very uh, public and sincere uh, uh, thank you to the Foundation for Economic Education. Fee actually was the first one to jump in and support the cryptocurrency conferences last October, which was just moved me profoundly. And thank you, Carl. And thank you, Larry Reed. Uh, but with Liberty Me, um, it was crazy. Um, uh, they were all over it. Few has been all over this project, seeing it as a nice uh, partner, and 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 taking people who think about liberty and care about liberty, and bringing us together in a way of sharing our knowledge to come up with new knowledge and new ways <clears throat> to rebuild the, uh, the world. One of the ambitions of, of Liberty Without Me is to be a portal to the whole world of liberty. Um, the, the truth is that we're doing, we want to be a, a space, a broad-minded space, where we all learn from each other. Uh, the idea of Liberty Me is to bring us all together to open our minds and share with each other and learn from each other and figure out why we hold the values we do and how to achieve them in a very practical way. So Liberty Me is not part of this group or that group. Um, we're part of what Mises is called uh, the party of liberty, right? Uh, it is a real party. It's a party that favors the flourishing of individuals and the whole of society. And that's all it's about. Uh, nothing more or less than that. What is he wearing? <laughs> who's, the, who's the guy? Sean, the, what are you wearing? My pencil costume. Oh, wait a minute. Is that? What is that? My pencil. Oh, for my pencil. Oh, for my pencil? <laughs> hey, Chuck, can you channel uh, Leonard Reed for us right now? Can I channel Leonard Reed for you right now? Right. Um, yes, I can. Yeah, I thought you could. What's your opinion of, of this project, Mr. Reed? Of liberty.me. Right. So, just as I started something new in 1946, when I started the Foundation for Economic Education, <laughs> this Wimby.me is taking what's going on in the new generation, where people are getting complacent in the ideas of liberty, and it's getting people to see these ideas in a new way, get together in a new way, and participate in the next era of advancing freedom. We've all we've read his words many times over the last few years, and and had some sense that he was you know with us, cheering on these new developments. He he, he was never he was never quite political, was he, Chuck? I mean, he he always he always wanted to he always wanted to find ways to personalize the project of liberty, don't you think? I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> so, so hey Matt, hey guys. Sorry. Yeah, let's have a cheers to Matt, because that was pretty yeah. incredible what he did. I mean, you know, wait, actually, there, there's something that some of you guys probably don't know, is that we filmed this last week on, what, Wednesday? Yeah, yeah. So he turned this all around in less than five days. He's not a filmmaker. He's a genius. He's the guy who made this, this whole thing work. <laughs> Poor Jeff could even dry off. <laughs> 
I'm just as long as I didn't end up in the lake, you know, I I, I did good. So, you know. But that, why, why did you leave in my um, uh, profane remarks? Ex profane ex remarks? Expletive? I heard that, Jeff. Yes. I didn't. I had a lot more left in that I. My wife made me remove. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I mean... The, Cheers you know. to Pacey. <laughs> no, but listen, I, you know, I, was, I was so embarrassed because I was supposed to be, like, happy, right? When you hit the water, you're supposed to be, like, happy, you know, and, and swinging around. Instead, all I did is, like, <laughs> let out this string of <laughs> terrible things. <laughs> Actually, hey, Marianne, can I ask you a question? Of course, darling. <laughs> uh... Blush. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um... So, so I can't remember my question. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> what was your uh, feeling about the, the 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 movie, the little silly movie you made? Um, anything that you're in, I'm automatically going to enjoy because you're just so excited about everything all the time. It could be like like a toothpick, and you could say, "Oh wow, this toothpick is a miracle of capitalism." <laughs> <laughs> It was speculative, it's outrageous, we're trying to do something that's never been done before. Uh, trying to create this broad-based, uh, uh, two-way, multi-way, billion-way city in the cloud where we can all kind of like talk to each other and sort of um, get, get groovy with the whole top, topic of, of human liberty in every conceivable technical, technological way. But it sounds insane. Uh, at some level, and so anyway, I really appreciate your support because you've kind of been there from the beginning, and um, it's meant a lot to to all of us. So, a special thank you. Hey, we got Matt Harris on video now. Hey, sorry, uh, it took me a second here. The man behind oh, hey, the camera hey, is yeah. finally yeah. from the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that we've we were our campaign is already at, at twenty seven thousand dollars. I did. That is fantastic. How it was? It just started today. Yeah. Like wow. It. Is that also including the Bitcoin donations? Uh, we no. Don't, we've only had probably close to around five hundred dollars of the Bitcoin donations. No, come on, seven hundred. Well, let's change that. Where's your QR awesome. code? Um, well, we actually we have BitPay generating unique QR codes for each one. Awesome. I'm going to uh, check out. I'm going to support Liberty.me's. Indiegogo with Bitcoin on screen right now. Are you, awesome. you, guys, you know, uh, it's a question of whether or not liberty is just a theory or whether it really is something that matters in, in your life, you know? And there are several things that have happened to me over the last several years that made me realize that liberty is not just a theory. It's not just a beautiful idea. It's something that really works, you know? That insofar as you can apply it, <clears throat> makes life amazing. Uh, the first thing that made me realize that was it was your work, uh, Stefan, on intellectual property. Because you realize suddenly if you let go of the idea of the ownership of ideas, then you see the flowering of, of the garden. You know? Then you see the things take off. And that was a beautiful illustration to me personally that liberty can make the world a better place. I mean, not because of something the government gives you, but because of something you do yourself. That's an amazing, empowering kind of realization. Maybe it's obvious to everyone, but for me personally, it was like took 25 years to realize this, you know. And the second great revelation was Prince Bitcoin. I mean, some guy who, who we don't even know. Yes. Um, it's not here, right? But the only problem is, I think this is our last bottle. Actually, we're gonna have to have somebody go out of champagne. Um, oh, the second great revelation was the fact that some guy. Uh, uh, and we don't know our, our team, or, or, or maybe it's actually Marianne is, is uh, actually Satoshi Nakamoto. Actually. <laughs> no, no, actually, I was going to make that announcement tonight, Jeff. That Marianne is <laughs> on this show. And then what? Yeah. What am Marianne I doing? Marianne is. That's right. Marianne, we, everyone's slightly suspicious that you're the inventor of Bitcoin. Oh, totally. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> like, yeah. Confirming this? I did it like a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> this I believe. If that is pop, I and mean, look, think about it. If that is possible, if it's possible to reinvent the world monetary system out of code, what isn't possible? You know, that's I think what we need to start. We need to start being visionaries. You know, to imagine 
the unimaginable. <clears throat> Come together with other liberty-minded people to test them, uh, 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 combine our ideas, remix things, and reinvent, reinvent the world. And we need a platform to do that. And uh, that's that's really essentially the whole idea uh, behind uh, Liberty uh, Me, right? What is one thing that you have in your mind right now that needs to exist? I'm sick of the transportation problem, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. I want my freaking flying car, like now. <laughs> uh, so that's, <laughs> why should I not? <laughs> We're approaching 30, uh, 33,000. 33,000! Wow. Yes! Like 5,000, more than when I checked it last. We are going to live or die based on this magical thing called technology. <laughs> Uh, so we're not we're not we're not begging for money. We're asking for uh, for people to put down put down their property if they think this is a valuable service and and if it, and it's valuable, then we'll we'll live and we'll thrive. Uh, if if we if we falter and we fail, then we'll know it. So um, that's what it's all about. We're 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 embedding ourselves in this in the great ledger and the and the great balance sheet. Uh, to tell us what we should be doing. So, um, and it's scary, actually, at some level. But um, look, we've all killed, all, everybody in this room, we've killed ourselves over the last three weeks, uh, uh, practically, with cigarettes and liquor. <laughs> oh, you, you brought up the late nights and yeah. uh, <laughs> it's not, early mornings. For the last three weeks, there's not been a single hour where there hasn't been somebody in this room hard at work. Um, I mean, uh, you know, I come in in the early mornings and people are sleeping on the floor. Uh, you know, it, it's been it's been the ultimate startup culture. Mullen is here. He is. Look at him. Uh -huh. He's doing the evil eye. So am I. Because my patented eye of Sauron. How is that? <laughs> the the the, the, can the arrives. The philosopher king of our time. Well, in the first place, you're very much the innovator behind Liberty Me. I mean, you know, your ideas are free. You've given them away for years, and they've inspired us, you know, to to uh, to to create this 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 piece of real estate um, to kind of realize your your own visionary uh, perspective, you know, which um, <clears throat> has meant so much to the Liberty Movement over the last uh, last few years. And also, you helped us very. I mean, like I think a couple of months ago, we first approached you and said. Here's the idea for this for this uh, for this for this gigantic uh, space, infinitely expanding space of, of ideas. What's your sense of it? And you gave some you applied some of your own business history, um, and and gave us some extremely compelling uh, criticisms and comments. And it, it meant a lot to us, actually. I mean, it was really cool to have you so closely engaged in in the project. It, it meant a lot to us. So thank you for that. And, and here we oh, it's, it's my pleasure. I mean, it's a, it's a very cool project, and I'm certainly looking forward to seeing how it rolls out and, and what we can do to, to get it moving forward and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I think uh, the more entrepreneurial skills in this community, you know, I think the better off we're all going to be. The point is to have a place that you know that is focused on a single human value of human liberty and know that everything you get there is designed to achieve that end, whether it's a, a concern of politics, Maybe it's you know, about your profession, about your personal finances, your your life uh, in, in the digital world and, and com com computing, family issues, uh, raising your children, faith, um, immigration, travel. I mean, there's so many life issues that touch on human freedom itself, um, and and it's it's the whole world, uh, really. Um, you know, every single sector of life. And we spend a lot of time structuring the website in a way that sort of touches on every important issue um, so that we can have a space for crowdsourcing information. But all of it centered on this one point. How can we become freer? How can we outrun the despots? You know, how, how can we create a new world that's more marvelous than the world the government tried to create for us in the 20th century? You know, how can we do this? How can we outsmart the bureaucrats? How can we leave the nation state? How can we, how can we become truly 
internationally minded, libertarian, liberty minded individuals. You have and a question from Twitter, and is what are the what topics are you most excited about broadcasting? Or right yeah. Up, uh, to? Yeah, well, there's so many. We've commissioned like 50 different guys, actually. I mean, we're coming in thanks to you, Michael. Uh, I couldn't possibly keep up with all the stuff that's coming in. We've got you know, experts and everything, um, uh, every, every area of life. I'm very interested in finance and economics, actually. It's my own personal interest. But other people have other interests. I know Stefan Mullen was very interested in and, and, and family issues and, and child raising. Mm -hmm. and, um, these are extremely important topics. Mary Ann is very interested in politics, especially you know, local politics, state politics, national politics. These are, uh, and Bitstein is obsessively and maniacally obsessed with you know one thing and one thing only, you know, cryptography. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so many. We have so many uh, experts. I mean, Stefan Kinsella, um, my great mentor on supercomputer intellectual property. Which we have to get rid of this idea if we're ever going to progress to civilization this much, I believe. All right. So why why is it, uh, Stefan Mullen, that every single thing I'm thinking about, you suddenly have like an hour long brilliant video about? I mean, are, I are, you trying, too. are you trying to replace my brain? You know, having done this for a while, I guess uh, I just try and figure out what's most on people's minds and try and pop in at the right time. You know, it's uh, you know half art, half luck, half skill, I guess. Actually, we do have another question from uh, Twitter, and it's, uh, will we be taking Bitcoin for memberships? Yeah, no, of course we're taking Bitcoin, and we've already um, signed up uh, many members uh, uh, with Bitcoin. Well, yes, yes. One of the beautiful things about libertarianism in the market is the degree to which it really engenders one of the most fundamental virtues, which is humility. You know, can you imagine going back to some of the libertarian thinkers of, say, 50 years ago, who were right. talking about centralized, encrypted, anonymous, instantaneous currency worldwide using a blockchain. I mean, they just never would have even remotely imagined it. And in the same way, that's why people say, well, who's going to build the roads in 50 years? I mean, it's embarrassing to even try to answer it. Uh, and uh, that humility of just not knowing what's coming and, and how to predict it is one of the things that I think we really got to strive for as a movement to reinforce it. So, uh, just, we have one more question related to Liberty Me. Um, so, one of I think we were talking about this as well the other day. So, one of the main reasons that we, we wanted to do um, something paid was that we wanted to not be advertising. And yeah, you know, this is, do you mind? Uh, talk yeah, about that? Oh, yeah, I'll uh, try to. Um, so, part of the, the economic model of Liberty is that um, we want to be responsive to our customers. So that, that's the main. Uh, the problem with, with advertising, and certainly with uh, nonprofits, is a major problem. But the problem with advertising too is that suddenly your attention is redirected away from consumers, away towards towards the big advertisers. And ideally, we don't want to go that direction. We want to um, have a real exchange relationship. Uh, with uh, with our with our with our peeps, you know, to, to have a community um, where we can create value together um, without third parties intervening. So Liberty Me, I think, is the biggest attempt in the libertarian space, the liberty minded space, to achieve this sort of com community crowdsourced um, uh, solutions to ideas. Well, well, Marianne, what's your vision? What do you think? What are you going to try and make it for on your own personal blog space? I mean, you're going to have a, an account there and be blogging and posting and writing articles and guides. What, what's your target audience? Um, the same target audience that I have now, the people who don't already agree with me. What about you, Stefan? Where are you targeting? Are you targeting new people or, or the already converted? Oh, always, always new people, uh, as as best as I can. Uh, well, I'm optimistic about the uh, the, the youth and the uh, the techno literate people coming up in our movement. So, I think we can reach them with uh, with uh, freedom, IP, technology, economic uh, literacy. So that's sort of what uh, encourages me. Michael, um, if you're, uh, I understand you're writing a guide. Would you say that you're speaking more to the masses that already, that already uh, follow the 
the ideals that you would say you follow, or would you say that you're trying to speak to the people who don't, the people who don't understand the message that you're trying to convey? Well, I only let people with black belts into my dojo. Okay. Uh, well, that's fair. No, uh, the guide is... Uh, I guess my guide is uh, more for uh, novices, maybe some uh, moderate-level people. It's people who know about Bitcoin, but they still haven't quite uh, learned how to use it. And so they're, they understand it, they know the power of it, um, but they haven't figured out how to actually implement it themselves. Um, and I will get them there. I must say, Michael, it's an extraordinary thing uh, to consider that you're only 14 years old. <laughs> and, and you're, you're like, yeah, this is awesome. I think I, I think I turned 12 next week, right? <laughs> Michael is such a good sport. I cannot believe you put up a jet like this, Michael. You're such a good sport. I, uh, I generally don't see this, but I, I really do feel a very strong urge to socialize that hair. <laughs> I know, it's nice. It's Justin Bieberish. So, uh, so thank you to everyone who has been here. And um, thank you for your involvement. You know, this, this campaign today didn't just happen by magic. You know, we've all been involved in planning this thing for many weeks. We end this day after about, what, seven or eight hours of um, being live, 25% through our funding campaign goals. So and this is, and our, and our campaign goals were outrageous in and, and, and many ways. So thank you so much and thank you for all of your intellectual contributions and for your faith in this project and and uh, for your confidence in the in the future and for your hope and the prospects of human liberty itself thank you jeff for all you do thank you but, but yeah. thank you so much for everything and and we have 40 days to go now as incredible as the scene but not uh, that's just for the for the campaign we are going to open probably uh, in February, uh, 1st February, 15th February. We're building every day. What we're going to see, no person has ever seen before. So, and we have um, a future to win with this platform. Uh, we're going to see things we've never seen before and change the world. Thank you all so much for being involved. Uh, say good night. Thank you, to you. Jeff. Thank you, Thanks, Jeff. guys. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Cheers.